Welcome to the daily word for the season of Pentecost. Today's reading is from the book of Ezekiel, chapter one, verses two to five and twenty-four to the end. On the fifth day of the month, it was the fifth year of the exile of King Jehoiakim. The word of the Lord came to the priest Ezekiel, son of Buzi, in the land of the Chaldeans by the river Chepa, and the hand of the Lord was on him there. As I looked, a stormy wind came out of the north, a great cloud with brightness around it, and fire flashing forth continually. And in the middle of the fire, something like gleaming amber. In the middle of it was something like four living creatures. This was their appearance; they were of human form. When they moved. I heard a sound of their wings, like the sound of mighty waters, like the thunder of the Almighty, a sound of tumults, like the sound of an army. When they stopped, they let down their wings, and there came a voice from above the dome over their heads. When they stopped, they let down their wings, and above the dome over their heads, there was something like a throne, in appearance like sapphire. And seated above the likeness of a throne was something that seemed like a human form. Upwards from what appeared like the loins, I saw something like gleaming amber, something that looked like fire enclosed all round. And downwards from what looked like the loins, I saw something that looked like fire, and there was a splendor all round, like the bow in a cloud on a rainy day. Such was the appearance of the splendor all round. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. When I saw it, I fell on my face. This is the word of the Lord. The sovereignty of God. Modern society constantly emphasizes the importance of human rights. Gradually causing us to pray down God's sovereignty, everything is centered around human beings, and we fail to see that we are created beings with limitations, ignoring God's glory and power. We fail to recognize Him as the God who governs all and transcends everything. Today's Scripture is chosen from the book of Ezekiel, chapter one, two to five, twenty-four to the end, where the prophet Ezekiel sees his first vision. Chapter one to three recorded Ezekiel's calling. Ezekiel was among the first exiles, likely a priest. Taken to Babylon, when the nations faced destruction, and the temple was near ruin, in a foreign land filled with idols, Ezekiel saw his vision concerning God's throne. The vision is filled with mysterious and supernatural imagery, including four living creatures. Symbolizing God's creations of all living things, in Ezekiel chapter one twenty six, describes the appearance of a throne above the doom, over the heads of the four living creatures, where Ezekiel saw God Himself sitting on the throne, radiating His glory and brilliance. Expressing his absolute sovereignty and transcendence, he is above all things and the judge of the entire world. In the twenty-first century, we can explore space, create artificial intelligence, and modify genes. All technological advancements make people feel they do not need God. 
However, these advancements had led to alienation between people, environmental destruction, moral decay, and the spread of drugs and sin. Today's world is filled with chaos. Wars and turmoil occur globally, and we fail to see God's glory and depend on Him. Although Ezekiel's vision seems incredible and non-intelligible, it brings us hope and strength in times of trouble. For God still reigns, bringing justice and redemption from His throne above the firmament. Let us take a moment for reflection. In the world of chaos, do we see God's glory? In our daily lives, do we still firmly believe that God is in control? Recall an experience of being with God, feeling His help and salvation. Let us pray, Almighty and Eternal Creator. You created the heavens and the universe, and govern time and everything within it. As we gaze upon your creation, we see the glory of your presence. Help us to know you more and understand how to align. With your eternal plan, so humanity can glorify and praise you in our life. Amen.